Hello and welcome to my first um, T-Worlds tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you the most important cd race network settings you have on the client. So if you open up the game for the first time, it should look like this. And first of all you just press play. I'm just gonna join a random server right now. So this is what the game looks like if you open it up. Maybe your T skin is different or your weapon skins are different, but you shouldn't bother about that sh about that in the first place that much. So you can find the settings in the top right corner. And first of all we want to go to controls. In controls, first thing I want to talk about is the hook collisions. This is basically um, an indicator that shows you where your hook would go if you would hook. So in my case I put it to mouse 4 which is the key on my mouse and if I press this key then he's gonna show me this line. And that means that if I point this line in this direction and I hook, it will hook exactly there. Using the hook line is very important in some cases. If I now press the hook line button, nothing will happen. It will show, it will show me where I can hook, but the line is red, meaning if I hook nothing will happen. If I point the line towards a wall that is unhookable, the line is red and nothing will happen again. However, if I point the line towards a block, a block that I can hook, that means that I will pull, get pulled towards the block if I hook it. The green indicator shows that it's hookable. Green hookable. Red not hookable. If there is a other player nearby um, and you point the line at him, it will tell you, you can see that the line is yellow now. That means that you can hook and you will pull the player towards you, but the hook is not gonna last forever. So now the hook is gone. The next thing I want to talk about is zooming in and out. For me zooming in and out is the plus and the minus key on the keyboard. If I hit plus, camera will zoom in and if I hit minus it will zoom out. If you want to reset the setting you need the default zoom and this is as well whatever key you want it to be. For me it's the multiplier key. So I hit multiply and it's the default zoom again. Zooming can be very helpful and I would recommend to zoom out a bit. Um, but it's just per a personal preference. For me I can play best if I am zoomed out 1, 2, x on the minus key so I can see a lot more of the screen but I'm not too far away like this so you can don't really have control anymore and you have much way too much information about the map that doesn't bother you that much. So one two now that we have zoomed out our game we can go to settings again and we are pretty much finished with control settings that are very special in the DDNet client. There are some dummy settings, which basically means that you have um, a second client connected so you can control two T's that both belong to you. But I will make another tutorial especially for dummy settings and so on and so forth. So be ready for that. I'm not going to cover it in that video. Next settings are the DDNet settings itself. 
what's important important about the first setting I want to talk about is um, overlay entities. As you can see, the map looks like this right now. Those blocks are, for example, unhook blocks. Um, this is freeze, so I can't move. But this is very much different in every map. So you can never be sure if this is an unhook block or an hook block, or this is a freeze or teleport. You never know. So if you want the maps to always look the same, you can just turn on entities right here. And now it shows you what the map is really built like. So we can see, for example, that here those green those green timers tell you um when the timer is gonna start running for the map. If you cross this border, you can see the timer starts to run. Or you can see the freeze here or the teleports. And you you can just be sure about what is happening to you if you, for example, fall in, in here, fall in, and you get teleported to this teleporter block. So if you turn this off again, there is no teleporter block. You have no idea where you're going to land if you jump in here. So in some cases, it's very important to turn on your entities. To turn them on faster than this, you can just go to your controls again and yeah, pick a, pick a button for show entities. So if you want to have your entities shown instantly, you just press this button and the entities are shown. Press it again and they are away again. So the next DDNet thing that is important to some players is anti-ping. Um, what this is is basically it tries to prevent, prevent you from lagging. So um, it's personal preference again. I don't use it because I'm used to playing without it since 2010 or 2011 when I started playing T-Worlds. So I never played with it when I started and I don't do it right now. If you prefer it, you can turn it on or if you have problems with ping. As you can see, I don't have any ping problems. So it's pretty much useless for me. Just try it out, how it feels, and turn it on or off. Um, the next thing I want to recommend you is to turn on show other players who co collision lines. What this basically means is that um, if an other player turns on his line, you can see it. Um, this is, can be very useful if somebody wants to give you a signal that Maybe if he's freezed and he does something like this, he turns it on or off or turns it on and winks, that he's there and that you can unfreeze him or whatever. So it's better to see if somebody is hook lining. So have this turned on. Show other players key presses. Um, this is basically so you can see what another player is pressing. Um, I'm gonna quickly connect my dummy for this. So my dummy is walking towards the right and you see this because of this arrow above him. He walks to the left real quick. You can see the arrow pointing to the left. So there are several arrows in um, yeah, above the T's and they just signal you where they are pressing at the moment. Just to give you a better example of the key press thing, I just connected to a server that is a little bit more full and you can see key presses the players are doing. So they are pressing right to run right or space to jump and yeah, you can see what they are pressing. Um, I personally don't really like the setting because it's sometimes a bit for confusing and if you're a relatively skilled player or even medium skilled 
you will m most of the time know what they are pressing and yeah um it's often not really necessary to even know what they are pressing so i don't like it but sometimes it can be helpful so thank you for watching the video i hope it helped you a bit and if you have any recommendations for me what i can do better or wishes for what i want to what i should do a tutorial about you can write it in the comments and you yeah, have a good day bye bye